Hi and welcome to week seven of economics. So we will delve into the major A1 examination this week, which encompasses units one, two, and three. Uh, our focus in this video will be on four crucial topics that will follow the A1 examination. We will begin speaking about the relationship between elasticity of supply and time, production costs of a business, how factors like input costs affect supply and the ways that government can influence supply. So first we will talk about the elasticity of supply and its relationship with time. Elasticity of supply measures how responsive the quantity supplied of a good is to changes in price. Over time, this relationship can vary. For example, in the short run, some businesses may struggle to adjust their production levels, making their supply inelastic. However, in the long run, they might be more adaptable and supply becomes more elastic. Now, uh, moving on to the analysis of production costs. So, understanding a business's production costs is essential for its profitability. These costs can be categorized into fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs remain constant, regardless of the level of production, like rent, for example, while variable costs change with production levels, like raw materials. The total cost is the sum of these two, and analyzing this can help a business make informed decisions about pricing and production. So let's transition into our next topic, uh, how factors such as input costs create changes in supply. Input costs, such as the price of labor, materials, or energy, play a pivotal role in determining a business's supply. When input costs rise, businesses may cut production, leading to a decrease in supply. Conversely, if input costs decrease, supply may increase as businesses find it more profitable to produce more goods. We will also explore how the government can influence the supply of goods. Governments have several tools at their disposal to impact supply. So firstly, they can impose taxes or offer subsidies. Taxes can discourage production by increasing costs, while subsidies can encourage it by reducing costs. Second, the government can regulate industries to maintain quality standards or control production quantities. Lastly, they can influence supply through trade policies like tariffs or input quotas. So to summarize, uh, we've, we will have our A1 examination. Now, of course, you know that A1 is exam based and um, it is a comprehensive exam. We will then move on and speak on four key topics, um, such as the relationship between elasticity of demand, um, uh, excuse me, the elasticity of supply and time. Uh, we will then move into the importance of analyzing production costs to make informed business decisions. We will also explore how factors like input costs can change supply. And finally, we will look at various ways governments can influence the supply of goods. So thank you very much. And I look forward to working with you and reviewing ahead of our exam this week. So it should be a productive time. Thank you very much.